Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into another new deck inside of Clash Royale as I just got home from the King's Cup. Now, if you guys didn't watch the King's Cup, it was so much fun. Uh, it actually was really disappointing for me. If you guys didn't see last year, I actually got third slash fourth place uh, as the only YouTuber to win a match, which was amazing. But this year, we ended up doing a team style format, and unfortunately, we actually lost to Molt's team with Yao. Yao Yao as well as Donkey Kong and uh, it was super disappointing. My teammates both Tag and Oxlip played super well. I feel like the deck matchups that we had were super rough uh, but overall it was a really fun time. If you guys were there cheering me on really appreciate it but let's go and get into one of the decks that I played and it's actually my favorite new golem deck. So golem cannon card is actually becoming a thing. I love the cannon card. It's one of my favorite cards inside of the entire game. You've got the pump obviously which you want to pump up with You've got goblins, which are super essential for defending your pump, since if you go against minor, you're going to need to make sure you play though in the right position. We've got mega minion, baby dragon, as well as zap and poison. And uh, let's try this out. In fact, I'm going to try this on the leaderboard. I think this deck is better uh, for challenges, but I'm going to try it on the leaderboard instead to see if we can pick up some wins. And uh, let's do this. Now, I'm stoked for the event coming out tomorrow. If you guys didn't see, they're doing a spooky Clash Royale event uh, where actually you can win the skeleton barrel, which is the newest card coming out inside of the game. So I'm pretty stoked for that. And and checking out our starting hand, let's see if we learned anything from the King's Cup. Now, I feel like I have to start Collector. I don't really have a choice. And as I play this, he's probably playing Log Bait, seeing as he has a Princess. Instead, he's actually going to go ahead and play the Mortar right there. So we might have to take a fair bit of Mortar damage. I'm going to zap this right here to kill those bats. Hopefully, this... Uh, Mega Minion right here can kill this Princess before, or the Mortar before we take too much damage, and it actually does. That was a really nice Mega Minion that I played right there. I'm going to let this Princess get a little bit closer. Meanwhile, on this side, uh, he's trying to go ahead and cheese me out. The Miner is finally going to make its way right there. We're actually taking a ton of damage. I'm going to just go ahead and soak that damage up. Miner's going to activate the King Tower, and all in all, this isn't the worst thing in the world. Now... This guy is very clearly playing some sort of log bait, except he might not have rocket. Instead, he's rocking mortar. Wait, like mortar bait? I have no idea what this is. Cannon card's going to go in, though. It's going to be able to soak up that mortar damage, and if he doesn't respond, he's going to take so much damage on the other side. Take a look right there as the cannon card goes through. It's going to reach the tower. The bats are going to go down as well. And look at the cannon cart damage. That's why it's one of my favorite uh, new cards inside of Clash Royale, and I'm so stoked to use it. And uh, meanwhile, I'm just going to prep with a little baby dragon right here. He's probably going to be playing a knight. I'm too scared to play my golem right now, which is why I did it. Let's get our mega minion down right here. One thing is we don't have log in this deck. And as he plays his minion horde, we can go ahead and poison for a positive elixir trade right there. And uh, yeah, looking pretty, pretty good right now. And as we even get closer to double elixir... I'm going to play my elixir collector. Now, if he tries to use his miner, we've got goblins. So check this out. Wait, oh no, that's not good. These, this mortar's just going to go ahead and try to shoot my goblins, but it's going to miss because the goblins move so quickly. Take a look as it locks onto that one goblin over there. That was actually played beautifully, but now our miner is going to die, or that miner is going to go ahead and kill our pump. Uh, we will get a little bit of value out of that pump, so not the worst thing in the world, but now it's time to go hard in the paint. We've got the golem ready right here. Bats should die momentarily, and this is where we make our push. We've got the golem. We've got double elixir. I think this guy does have inferno tower, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Let's go and get our cannon card down. Try not to waste any elixir as we play that. That with perfect timing here goes a mortar we'll poison down this princess and mortar right here hoping that the mortar doesn't take us out too badly goblin gang's gonna go in which uh, hopefully i can end up zapping soon make sure we get some of this stuff out of the way oh but man that mega minion's gonna be brutal we really need some elixir right now we are crushing him pretty badly with this mega minion but we're still just taking a little bit too much damage. Take a look, though, as everything else is going in. Baby Dragon and Mega Minion are doing a great job, giving me a little bit of time to save up some Elixir right now, so not too bad. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to play my Golem right now. I've got my Mega Minion here. Goblin Gang won't do crucial damage. I'm, I'm able to take a bunch of damage right here without it being the end of the world. And as we play our Baby Dragon to follow up on this Princess... This is looking pretty solid. It's either going to be a tie or we're going to win. It's going to be one of the two, which, you know, really isn't the end of the world as that baby dragon goes down. Check out this mortar right here. We're going to go ahead, and go ahead and drop a poison to make sure we take that out. Oh, no, the poisons are what we should be saving for the minion horde because we're just taking way too much damage. Now, the minion horde's going to run through and at least start dying a little bit. And as our golem makes its way closer and closer, we really need that elixir to kill this princess right here. Trying to shove our way to the end. Take a look as the baby dragon's making its way towards the tower right now. Please, baby dragon, go towards the tower. Instead, the poison and the golem knight goblin baby dragon combo 
will be GG well played. I feel like I learned a lot this weekend at the King's Cup. Playing with the pros, being around the pros, I learned a lot of different things and uh, it's pretty exciting. I really need to spend some more time practicing with some of the pros on my uh, Tribe Gaming team. If you guys didn't know, I have an esports team now, which is super exciting and all those guys are amazing. And uh, yeah, hopefully they can give me some good lessons. And by the way, I didn't miss a rocket inside of the King's Cup. It was, it was awesome. It was, it was fantastic. A lot of people cheered in the crowd when I played a perfect rocket. Anyways, let's go and start it up against Nova Japan right here. Playing out my goblins just to see what this guy's got lined up. We'll use our cannon cart right afterwards. A little bit awkward of a position. He's going to play fireball. I definitely don't agree with that play because the cannon cart, it has a shield, but then it's just going to go ahead and kill these um, guys right here right afterwards. So he spent seven elixir. We've spent seven elixir. So I don't want to drop my golem yet. That would be way too aggressive of a play. We'll play our... Uh, baby dragon uh, the elixir collector is the last thing i have in rotation which is sort of sad and because of that we're gonna have to be on top of our game with the goblins right here goblins hopefully cleaning up everything looks like the mega minion's gonna put in work too not too shabby at all and okay not the end of the world and now that his win conditions down with the hog rider i'm gonna play a super aggressive um cannon car or so super aggressive elixir collector because i know he can't really counter push and all he has, I think, is... Does he have Fireball, or am I out of my mind? That's something I'm so bad at. A lot of the times, I don't keep in mind what my opponent's playing, especially when I'm on video. It's almost impossible to, like, think and play smart. But there he goes with the Fireball right there on the right-hand side. Not the end of the world right there. We'll make one Elixir out of that Elixir Collector. Preparing for this Hog Rider. I've got the Mega Minion in place. And uh, at this point, we are sort of just chilling. And he's going to commit to defense. So he's going to go defensive right here. We'll get our cannon card out. Let's see what he's going to do to follow up. Does he have any sort of plays right here? I'm going to use our poison spell, actually, to start putting in some nice work against the knight, as well as those archers. Beautifully done. Look at this golem damage. And at this point, he's simply going to sacrifice and go for this side right here. Honestly, not a terrible play from him. I probably would have given up this side as well. I'm going to use my... Ah, those goblins were actually a waste right there. I shouldn't have used those goblins to kill his goblins because I was already good to go. Uh, but going into double elixir, I think this definitely favors us. Normally, Hog Rider probably beats Golem in this scenario. But look at those goblins on the other side of the map. There was no Golem... Or the Golemite was tanking that King Tower, which gave us so much value this point he might just go in with this hog rider let's use baby dragon because i think he's playing goblins there they go baby dragon plus our mega minion being able to clean up right there beautifully he'll get a little bit of damage done but it's time to go hard in the paint guys this is a really aggressive play right here check out this play we've got golems down pump is still putting in some work poison's going to go down in a moment he brought everything together to that right hand tower that's going to be a big mistake my friend because take a look as that golem makes its way towards that tower the baby dragon's going to lock onto the archers golemite's doing work he has so many tornadoes how can he even afford them you know what it is the op cannon cart going to finish this one off guys gg well played and this deck really works wonders i i one of my biggest mistakes with the king's cup is i didn't run this deck against yao yao i really wanted to beat yao yao to pick up the win and uh, i decided to play an expo deck instead of this deck in my second battle which i would have had a favorable matchup against using this golem unfortunately it didn't work out in my favor 32 trophies this time and it will work for this one and it's this is looking good three crowns for that one and let's get into one more battle to show this one off all right not necessarily the King's Cup, but we are making an amazing trophy push. And uh, let's start off with this next one here. Now, one thing that people kept telling me was to not be the first person to make the play. Wait to see what your opponent does and try to counter it. So let's see. I'm going to wait it out. He's going to play an Ice Spirit. Probably stupid for me to play my Elixir Collector. I should have waited longer. Okay, he's going to play his Rocket. Not the end of the world. going to be pretty even. He's going to get a little bit of tower damage over here. But judging by the rocket, I try to figure out what deck he has, but I just don't have a clue right now. I'm going to get my Mega Minion down just to see if we can get something rolling. He's going to play his Mortar, which is an easy cannon cart counter. It's going to shove that Mortar right in the face and do some beautiful damage. It'll even kill the Mortar before uh, the shield breaks, which is so nice. Look at this cannon cart just going in right now. Shooting the skeleton, shooting the archers. Look at that value right there. That is just beautiful, guys. And then meanwhile, he has to counter that Mega Minion, so let's throw this goblin set of goblins over here. And he's got to be low on Elixir. He has to be low on Elixir somehow, some way. So I'm going to throw my Golem down and pray that he doesn't have a counter push coming. Okay, he does have the Mortar. I probably should have thought of that and played the Golem in the center rather than right where I did. 
Baby Dragon's gonna go down, Archers will go down as well. Let's see what he ends up doing as we get our Mega Minion ready. Hopefully the Mega Minion goes for the Archers or I'll cry. Nicely done right there, no tears will be shed in the making of this video. Look at that Golem going in, really nice Mega Minion placement for me. He's gonna play another Golem, which seems pretty dang desperate. And uh, as this goes down, the Mortar can't even shoot anything, except for the Cannon Cart when it comes out. I'm gonna get my Zap Spell ready, but look at the Cannon Cart on the tower, the damage is just so absurd from the cannon card. Check it out, putting in work against this, even with the archers in its face. So nicely done. And uh, wow, this is turning out so beautifully right now, guys. And uh, not too much my opponent can really do. All right, well, waiting for these archers to die. I'll play my goblins momentarily. Try to take out this knight. Only a little bit of time left. If he plays mortar, it's gonna be a little bit disappointing because I don't have anything right now. Baby dragon, he's gonna play his rocket and this is just setting up for a failure. All right, here goes the baby dragon. Here comes another mortar. You have to be thinking that mortar's coming out. Instead, I'll get my poison spell ready. Maybe we can get some value. Oh, we're gonna get some great value against that mortar. In fact, I'm not even gonna defend against that. That's gonna be the end of that side. Let's play a golem in this lane. Now, normally I should be defending. My pros who were hanging out with me in the King's Cup are probably super sad right now, but with 182 HP left, all I have to do is poison this down. Or wait, maybe the poison... Yeah, that probably wasn't so smart switching up lanes right there. That was definitely not smart. That's going to be okay, though. Mega Minion's going in. That's going to clean up these archers. We've got the Baby Dragon putting in work. Once again, the poison's going to clean up the mortar with plenty of time left on the clock. Let's zap these annoying little skeletons, and that's going to be GG well played. Another crushing victory using this deck. And this deck rules. There's a reason people were playing it inside of CCGS. There's a reason people were playing it inside of the King's Cup. It's super, super solid if you guys are looking for some nice wins. And I definitely recommend it. There's not too many legendary cards as well. Actually, what is the legendary card inside of this deck? This might be a legendary cardless deck unless my brain cells aren't working. I've had such a crazy weekend, guys. No legendary cards inside of this deck. Any of you guys can play this. And this is one of the best decks inside of the entire game. I strongly reject or suggest playing this deck. It's OP, beat people down, make sure you pump up all the time. If you're playing against a miner, make sure you protect that uh, that miner, or protect your pump with goblins against that miner to make sure you catch it. And then if you can catch a miner with your goblins, it's basically gonna be GG well played because you're gonna have so much elixir to go ahead and crush your opponent. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smack that like button. I am back to daily uploads now that I'm home. And I actually don't have any travel coming up, which is really nice. So I'm gonna be doing a bunch of streaming on twitch.tv as well as just hanging out. And uh, yeah. I'm stoked to see what goes on over the next couple of weeks. And that is going to wrap it up for this video. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.